After trying SteamOS on the B-Link SCR5, I really wanted to try it out on this HP Pavilion 15 with the Ryzen 5 5500U. It's the system that I've always been using for testing, but I've always done it on Windows and I really have been wanting to try SteamOS on here. But I had really been getting recommended a lot something called Chimera OS. Now Chimera OS's website makes a lot of promises here. It really focuses in on the fact that you could pretty much play games from pretty much anything not just steam you can also use epic you can use gog and it's supposed to make it extremely easy to do emulation all of this had me very very excited especially because it really focused in on just how easy it was to set up but their website was pretty basic though they do have some pretty decently thought out documentation so overall i didn't really find anything about the installation process or the setup to be confusing it all was reasonably explained here and at first everything seemed promising it was pretty much giving me the exact same experience that i got with hollow iso on the sre5 though the installation process for things that are outside of steam was a bit annoying you have to use a web app essentially where from there you have to do some finicky things to log into your epic account and your gog account though it does have a nice interface when it comes to uploading roms for emulation but after signing in and downloading cyberpunk 2077 which to be fair was in the unsupported games list and I also uploaded Legend of Zelda Wind Waker none of these were working cyberpunk never really launched at all no matter what I left it alone for a very long time and it just did not end up working Wind Waker also was just not working at all it would not launch anything even after a system reboot or anything like that it just was not working so these titles were not functioning whatsoever of course I did download quite a few games for testing but all of that was really for nothing because eventually I ended up just getting a black screen and that was that after a reboot of the system I was pretty much just greeted to the same black screen over and over and over again. The system just never went back to the desktop. I was pretty much just greeted to a black screen every time I would try to boot the system at all. So it was a disaster because it would go through the boot up process and then it would just hang here forever. I have left the system alone for pretty much an hour and it never ended up doing anything at all. This was as far as it could go again. And I actually ended up reinstalling Chimera OS on it and it repeated the exact same process after a little bit of just being in the desktop. It's so this was really unfortunate because I was really looking forward to actually getting this to function. Unfortunately, even from the very beginning, I was running into issues. As you can see, this is the way I had it all set up. I pretty much had to use a USB-C dongle to get Ethernet on here because it would not register my Wi-Fi card when it did actually function before everything just went blank. And since the Wi-Fi card wasn't working, I also couldn't get Bluetooth to work. So I had to use USB with the Xbox controller just to get it to function so in general this whole experience was just way worse than hollow iso was on the sre5 now i'm not going to blame chimera os on this i think it might just be an incompatibility with this hp system that i have here it really just does not seem to like it i will be trying out chimera on another system but i'm really disappointed to see how things have turned out on here but sometimes these things just kind of end up being failures and it makes sense because we still don't have a full release of Steam OS, we just kind of have to rely on these third party operating systems that are kind of trying to give you the exact same experience, but for more general hardware. And you can really see why it is that Valve went down the route that they did on making their own system while focusing in on optimizing Linux, because the PC experience really varies dramatically from hardware to hardware just because there's so many variables. So with the Steam Deck, Valve is actually able to control for what they optimize for and every other hardware configuration is kind of just left up to chance on whether or not it's going to work properly and in this case this system really just, just seems to have lost that lottery there that's perfectly fine i hope that at some point this will be more functional i will be also trying hollow iso on here but at least chimera os did not seem to function well on here at all i definitely do tr plan on trying this specific chip out with steam os but i'm might just have to get another system with the chip to try it out so stay tuned for that